Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose, August 13, 2016, at 11:24 p.m. Birmingham. Topic here is the final, the only global warming we will ever have on this earth. I'm gonna tell you exactly where and when, how it starts, how it ends, and it's all right here before me revelations chapter 18 verse 1 through 7 by the way let me say one thing first it's unfortunate that al gore has to make money on his own timing fear-mongering of global warming when you can read in the bible and see where it is and see that you're also protected from it Chapter 18, verse 1 through 7, God warns us over and over that judgment is about to come. No one pays attention to the warning. Chapter 18, verse 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall utterly be burned with fire, for strong is the Lord who judged her. Then chapter 18, verse 9 through 24, I think it's 24, goes on to tell you all about the riches of everyone, every gold and silver, everything everybody had, will also be burned at that time. Okay, my part two, which is chapter 19. In chapter 19, the Lord himself with a sharp two-edged sword will not only destroy all that is bad in the wars, the final war, the people that are in it, and the same sword shall cleanse the earth. We who are saved, we Christians, will not walk out onto our new home, onto a badly burned, scarred, burned up, disfigured earth, so that we'll spend the next 200 years cleaning it. No, the same sword that wiped it clean on the back swipe it cleaned it up with fire this is the only global warming the earth will ever have prior to being made new there was a purging way back before our time okay now the time after chapter 19, verse 21, ends global warming. Chapter 20 picks up the thousand years, the next thousand years that's coming, the millennium, the future. But during that thousand years, verses 1, 2, and 3 will bound Satan and since verse 1, 2, and 3 covers the entire thousand years, bound Satan and release Satan. Those three verses span that thousand years. Chapter 20, verse 4, 5, and 6 in Revelations talks about the Christians and their place in the thousand-year millennium. Chapter 20, verses 7, 8, 9, and 10 talks about there is a hell. Chapter 20, verses 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. He brings all, even those in hell, back out to a final judgment. Chapter 21 Verses 1, 2, and 3, he brings heaven and earth together. 
And here, once again, even, through, even though the earth has been purified and burned with fire, it will this time go away. But he will group us together. This earth will go away. The great white throne judgment will take place. And then we who are saved will be put back on the brand new earth. And guys, that is global warming. Every bit of it. Doesn't it get any more clear than that? Let me tell you also on a, a Nat Geo thing, I believe maybe it's a history channel, that I saw about, no, BBC. I saw about the earth in general. This time it's talking about the poles, talking about Greenland, talking about Antarctica, and talking about the Arctic. The guy that was talking, they asked him, said, look for these giant icebergs falling in the water. How long is it going to take for Greenland to melt? He said, oh, it, it'll, it may melt, uh, you know, two, 3,000 years. He said, that long? He said, yeah, it's a lot of ice there. So then they move on to Antarctica, and they're talking about it and talking about times of the years where two miles a day of ice will break off and melt, float away. And then they go back and talk about the Arctic, talking about, well, Look at all this ice disappearing. Well, he says, you know what? You're losing ice here, and you're losing it earlier in the year, opposed than you used to. He said, but at the same time, the Arctic is gaining ice. In fact, there's more ice today on Earth than there ever has been since man has been here. And said, you can look at the Arctic all you want. But Antarctica is only growing in size. And if you want to really count Greenland, he said, if it ever melts two to 3,000 years away, he said, but I doubt that seriously. So guys, we're not entering a global warming. We are not going to enter a global warming. We're going to be purified by fire, but that'll come from God. That'll come from the sword of Jesus. And then we will live on it for a thousand years. And at the end of that thousand years, after it's been cleansed, then it will be replaced. The great white throne judgment, the final judgment, we Christians will even judge the angels. But those already in judgment, they'll be quickly judged great white throne, and right back into the original hell, not a new hell, the old hell. And as we have a brand new earth that God made for us and a brand new heaven. Global warming is in the verses I told you. There's no other anywhere, anytime. Zero proof that it's even begun because it hadn't, because it's not going to, Jody Wolf exposed.